What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice and in this video I'm going to show you how to change a winterboard's weather widget location to match your location and I'm also going to show you where to find your winterboard themes within iFile. Now again, obviously you need iFile to do this, it allows you to browse all of your iDevice's files and edit them and change them. Now iFile is $4 from Cydia, it is a premium application and I would highly suggest getting this application to anybody. Even if you're not into theming, this is just a essential tool and there's a lot you can do with it. So let's jump into iFile quick. Now here is the uh, basically the home screen of where you start in your file systems when you first open iFile. Again, if you click the home button that, on the bottom there, this is where it will take you. So first I'm going to show you where to find your winterboard themes. It's pretty pretty basic. Just uh, I'll start all the way from the root. So back all the way out until you can't back out anymore. There's no more button. Go all the way to the bottom. Go to var scroll all the way to the bottom again and go to stash now if you're into theming and need to edit themes a lot I would suggest bookmarking the stash folder and you can quickly do that by clicking the little book icon at the bottom there and go ahead and hit the plus symbol and then you can add a bookmark for the stash folder I already did it so I'm not going to do it now here are the two folders that say themes those are your winterboard themes and now I'm going to be showing you two different methods uh, one is with a HTML file and the others with a JavaScript. I've already uh, changed them but I'll just recap it so you guys can see how to do it. Now I bookmarked the themes so I don't got to search for them. First we're going to do the HTML file. So here is a little guide. It'll explain uh, how to go into the HTML file and find the location. I'll just show you. So let's go ahead and let's open up the HTML as a text viewer. Now this is a long HTML as you can see it'll take me a while to scroll through so how you want to go about this is clicking the little magnifying glass in the lower left hand corner there and I'm gonna search for var if I can click the V var space local and it already picked it up as you can see right there var local equals and then that's where you input your Yahoo weather code now if you don't know your Yahoo weather code I will leave a link down in the description for my tutorial on how to find that. So basically what you're going to want to do now is put in your Yahoo code, go ahead and click edit in the up, uh, upper left hand corner right there, it takes it a second, and then you can just go ahead and highlight that code and delete it out, and I'll just re-input my same Yahoo code just so you can see, USWI0. Four, one, one. All right. So there, I have my Yahoo code in, and go ahead and click save in the upper right hand corner there. And you are done with that. So there is your location is set up. Click done, and then you can go ahead and exit iFile, respring your device, and the changes will take effect. So that's HTML. Now let's do JavaScript, which is a bit easier. So here is another lock screen. Uh, lock screen theme with a weather widget and here is the configureme.js which is a JavaScript we can just go ahead and open that up and this as you can see is a very short file and you just gotta basically look for var local again and I'll bring it in so you can see it so right at the tip of my thumb you can see var local equals USW0411 which is my Yahoo code once again same way to edit it as the last one I just showed you just go ahead and click edit and then go ahead and put your code in there and then when you're done click save and then you can exit iFile respring your device and changes will take effect and that's basically it that's my quick tutorial on how to change weather locations for weather widgets in themes let me know if this tutorial helped you out down in the comments this is Jeremy with everything iDevice and I'll catch you guys later